Hi, this is Yvonne Galusha, and I'm going to show you how to get started on a Bootstrap C Sharp website using Visual Studio. So, you want to first create a new project, and then we are going to use the ASP.NET web application. See, C Sharp web. Select that. Next. And then I am just going to give this a uh, simple little name, example, I want my solution in the project. I'm using the latest .NET framework, create. Let me use a different name because I've probably done that before. Create. And I want a web forms project, but I want to unclick this HTTPS right now. So web forms and finish the creation of the project. So Visual Studio template is pretty nice. You will see it creates three pages for you and everything is set up based on SiteMaster navigation. And so I am not going to go into very much of that on this video, but you can see here this is the application name. Obviously it hasn't been changed yet. The three pages home brings you here about contact and then we'll say back to home. And my main purpose is to talk about uh, CSS if you want to change this navigation area. So let's go ahead and shut this execution down and come back to Visual Studio. So the first thing you want to do, this is where the bootstrap CSS is. So we want to Go ahead and add our own CSS style sheet. I'm going to go ahead and just call that custom. And there's nothing there yet. The next thing you need to do is you need to go to the bundle.config and you have to be sure that your CS file is included. So we just need to add another line because we now have a custom CSS file that we want to be have included. So I'm going to save that. That's all you needed to do. Oh, I have a little extra quote here. That should clear up that little squiggly. Looks good now. And now you want to override the bootstrap CSS with your custom. And I went ahead and put the CSS rules that I want changed. I'm noticing my alignment looks a little weird here. So I'm going to just, these rules, I would keep them all over here flush. So let me put them that way so it looks more normal to me. And you can see this is the main color. It's kind of a, I don't know, grayish blue. And I intentionally put some strong colors so you could see what does what. And you'll see the application name is going to be in the fire brick red and the hover is in this aqua. I don't really recommend these covers, but for sake of example, it will clearly tell you what is what. A link item will be black, but when you hover over it, it's going to be fire brick red. And those are really the ones that are in effect right now, those right there. So let's go ahead and see how the site looks with these changes. So you can see I have this grayish green, maybe blue they call it, color. And you see if I hover here, I got that aqua going. But if I hover here, I've got the fire brick red. And so that is how you change the main navigation colors with your custom CSS. I hope you found this to be helpful.